Welcome to the Do Nothing Project. Just to say hello there, if you can, if my audio is coming through. I hope this is uh, going to work because I'm up uh, at a cabin a few couple hours north of Toronto. The Oh, sometimes the audio doesn't, or the video doesn't work as well. Hey, cool. Oh, good to see everyone. Welcome to the Do Nothing Project. For those who've never been here before, this is it. Our uh, ongoing experiment and community hangout on a Sunday night, Eastern Standard Time, Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon Pacific Time, uh, Monday morning, Monday middle of the night, European time, Monday next day, Australia time, Asia time. So um, great to see everyone. Great to see the names. Uh, Eve's amygdala is here. Holly. Hey, Holly. Kent, Brooke, Fred, Siobhan, all the regulars and any new folks who stumbled upon this awesome little community. Um, so... Uh, the Do Nothing Project is a uh, opportunity to sensitize ourselves. It's one way to think of it. Sensitize ourselves, develop a kind of palate or taste for um, for nothing, <laughs> and a very deep and important kind of nothing. A uh, um, you know, I, I sometimes come home at the end of the day. Uh, okay, every day. <laughs> and I'm exhausted because it's been a full-on day of parenting and work. And and all I want to do when I get home is disappear. <laughs> I want to either just have a couple beers. I want to watch some stupid action movie. I just want to... Um, I basically want to... I want instant gratification, <laughs> instant gratification to take me somewhere. Um, and I know at that time, you know, I should meditate. It, but I often don't. And I don't because the pleasure of what meditation gives me. In fact, if I were to sit down and meditate within a minute or two, I get over the hump of thinking I need something else. And I find myself in something very simple and unremarkable and rich and nutritious. <laughs> and see, because life, so much of life is about chasing the peak experience or trying to avoid the experience. You're in the up and down. But meditation is the depth. It's the width dimension, the three-dimensional inward dimension. And it's not as exciting as the peak because it's not about excitement. It's not as as a demoralizing as the down it's it's the capacity to go in on any of these to not need the up or the down to be there or not there because it's a quality of just being okay with what's here and it's there's a kind of restful simplicity that we begin to develop a palette for that gets ever more rewarding and so for me within if i do sit within a couple minutes oh i'm it's, oh, I'm really happy I'm here. And it, nothing in a way that's going to impress. The mind will never be impressed by it. It's not exciting. It's not sexy. It's not, um, it, 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 it's not dramatic. You know, it's just being here. But the just being, the just being and not needing to do anything gets richer and richer. Um and that's maybe a very long and maybe a slightly pretentious way to talk about doing nothing, uh, but the, the 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 subtle good flavor of it. I need it tonight. I was I had an idea for a bigger spiel I was going to do tonight about kind of some big picture framing around mental health that I'm excited about. And then 40 minutes ago, my four year old son leapt from the couch, face first into the side of a of a a wood coffee table and split open his lip and blood splashed everywhere all over me, <laughs> screaming drama. Um, so I just came from 
calming him down and finally getting him in bed. And then uh, I couldn't finish the bedtime because it would, he still worked up a little bit, but uh, that went out the window. And so that's real life. Got to be right. Honest about whatever's happening in real life. But the interesting thing is it relates to what we do here. My propensity would be to continue to worry at that, to worry about it, to, to follow the emotions of anger or sadness or worry about him. And um, he's over it now. He's good. He's getting ready to go to bed. So the do nothing move in this is to back off from the, uh, the in a sense, the instant gratification of continuing to indulge what a feeling or pattern of rumination is there, whatever the quickest, easiest thing is. And instead to back off from that and just to let yourself sit here and be with what's here. And the being with eventually begins to reveal something of that subtle taste for just being that's so good for us. So that's a bit of blah, blah, blah on a Sunday night. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. To the Canadians out there, happy Canadian Thanksgiving. To the non-Canadians out there, let's do a meditation based on this theme. This candle is going to be our demarcation. When you see this candle enter steadily through the screen, the meditation has begun. There it is. Be well, Eden. We love you, buddy. There's the candle and it leaves the screen. Meditation has officially begun. I see my breath in here. It's like minus something in the zeros now, below the zero, at least in Celsius, cold and wet. In this section of the Northern Hemisphere, my friends, I will invite you to assume the pose, whatever pose or posture feels good for you. It might be laying down, it might be sitting up, it might be sitting in a chair, it might be sitting perfectly cross-legged in a zazen. As always with the Do Nothing Project, if you have your own version of doing nothing that is preferable to you, you can do that. You can let my occasional orientations just sort of be there in the background or just tune them out altogether. That's fine. Everyone's got a way into the zero. That's what I call the do nothing state, the zero, the place of the beginning place of availability. No plus drama, no minus drama although that may be passing through the zero point. Welcome, David. A few slow, deliberate breaths. Just sitting, just sitting, not needing anything to be any different. So the equanimity with whatever sounds are in the space around you, whatever sensations are in the body here with you, whatever sights, whatever the situations are that you're in, that's all perfect. That's where we've been. helps at the beginning sometimes just to let your attention sort of gently settle on some home base, some reliable 
sensation like the breath or a sound. Kind of ride that down. Or not. Sometimes it just starts to happen that way or you choose to make it happen that way. It's not like when you do this, it <laughs> stops thoughts and feelings. I mean, it might slow it down or more like it just changes the proportion of those in our experience from being 100% filling up your experience or 80%. Now it's more like maybe 40 or 30 or 20. And the other part is suddenly filled up with just the feeling of the breath or the sound of distant traffic or event or more of a 360 degree panoramic awareness of many things happening in the world and in the body but not fixating on any of them. And we can kind of let the world reset us in this way. Body world. Not trying to change anything that's here. Just getting a little bit zoomed in, maybe on one part of it, some neutral part, the breath, the sound, or maybe just the whole sense of the body sitting here, of just being a body. Sometimes the mind is a little dissatisfied with this, wants something more exciting, more interesting a little disappointed. That's just the mind. We're cultivating a sense of appreciation for something more subtle beneath that. The sense of just resting with what's here. A subtle, subtle gratification of that. The satisfaction of it. And this slowly, sometimes very slowly, becomes apparent, or maybe there's another way in which it appears for you. This quality of okayness with things as they are.
I'm just sitting here, I'm just lying here, and that's just as it should be. I don't know if that was just fine. Nowhere else to get to. And you enjoy the opportunity just to rest, rest in what's here. Sometimes when we sit here, we kind of drift off. That's okay. We notice it happen. Come back.
can we decide to find from the simplicity of nothing much happening kind of satisfying fulfilling even mildly pleasurable whatever it is enough we decide to find it to be enough The kind of maturity in that. Everything's happening, fine all on its own. Breath just happening, sounds just happening. Kind of relief, just letting them do that. Okay with just sitting here being a body. Okay with 
simplicity, with slowness, with gentleness. Then we'll do a, a friendliness practice for the last few minutes, somewhere along those that theme of being okay with the um, just some subtle expression of you know appreciation or gratitude or whatever it is you feel like you might want to cultivate in the last couple of minutes it might be just spontaneously thinking about different things in your life or people places animals kind of acknowledging them saying thank you and getting curious maybe or detecting what is that what is that subtle quality of that follows that thank you is there a sort of satisfaction is there a, a warmth is there a matter of factness or maybe it's just picturing different people places kind of you know animals and just sending some kind of a friendly blessing of some kind, like may you be well, or may you be happy, or I appreciate you, I love you, or if you're right. It's not uh, necessarily sentimental, it could be a very sober feeling, it could be very like your expression of loving kindness or gratitude in this moment is just to sit in a kind of respectful stillness, solidness. Maybe it feels good to put a hand on your chest or your belly or just notice your hands on your lap or your knees. It can be a kind of grounding quality that Like you sit and you do nothing, you kind of loosen the structure, loosen the fixations, the, the usual patterns of entertainment and rumination. Everything gets a bit looser and more open. And then at the very end, we kind of choose how we want to come back, maybe with a little more friendliness, appreciation, gratitude, just tasting what those qualities are like. And it's a practice. The more you repeat them, the more fulsome they become or the more available they become. They become more and more of a kind of default pattern. This is where we practice that just for another 30 seconds or so. Maybe repeating a phrase, maybe saying thank you, or maybe just doing it your way. This is the pattern that will hold us. It will be like the safety net when we come back into the world. All right, friends, I don't have a bell, so just wave this candle here. Thus completes our meditation. I think I might have dropped out there for, I don't know, a minute or something. Sorry about that. Sometimes the connection's a bit body up here so i apologize if that's the case if you're watching it later you won't even know it'll just be like a blip might be slightly shorter uh hopefully 
<laughs> people are still here. Thank you. It's good to hang out with you. Uh, 25 seconds, Andrew says, that I blipped out for. Glad you liked it, Chris. Hey, Kent, nice to see you. Emma. Oh, sorry to hear that, Sheila. Hope the golden retriever feels better. Eat some mushrooms. Nice, Gabriel. Sankana, nice to see you. Victoria. Elizabeth. Okay, cool, Ruth. Good to know. Tisha. Paul. Maria had the restless legs. Ooh, I know what that's like. I get that a lot at night. I find magnesium helps. Uh, thanks, everyone. Great to hang out. I know, Fred. It goes by fast. Yeah, I look forward to meeting some of you people, some of you folks, my friends at Omega next week for the meditation party. Nice, yes, Venari got Sarah, but backing off rather than following our emotions. Yeah, if you can do that. <laughs> Sometimes they're so convincing and all consuming that it's hard to pull out of that. Great to hang out. Yeah, uh, Andrew's put in a link here to tomorrow's CEC, which looks like it has a cool theme. Thanks for the, Ruth, for the thumbs up reminders. Uh, yeah, grateful for everyone. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Nice. Yes, the Nart. <laughs> it's Maggie. Okay, friends. Well, well, it was good to hang out. <sighs> um, yeah, got this retreat at Omega. It's an in-person thing, but there's an online component. So if you're everyone's interested, I don't know how much it is, like a couple hundred bucks or something, but it'll be good. It'll be me, Dan, and Sebene Selassie, who's an awesome meditation teacher two great friends of mine and we're kind of going to be experimenting on what a meditation retreat will be like that's a little more convivial and um so there's sits but it's social and it's um a little more bouncy and we've been kind of developing what that's going to look like seven a and i and so we're excited um that's happening next weekend so i actually think next yeah uh, i think andrew <laughs> i have to ask andrew or maybe or maybe um aaron or someone will be doing next sunday because i'll be flying home from new york actually uh so this next week's do nothing will be uh a friend who does it but i'll be tuning back in the one after and the weekend after that actually is a uh art of living retreat in north carolina so some of you i might see there um awesome friends well have a great night i'm gonna go check and see what chaos is happening up above yeah it totally has an online component yes an art, that's <laughs> an art. Yeah, Boone. Nice, Bob. All right, friends, have a good night.